everyone. It's Cindy with Mimi's Treasure Cottage. It's that time of the year again. It is almost St. Patrick's Day, and I am here to share with you my vintage St. Patrick's Day collection. I've got some new stuff, some new ways of displaying it, so join me. All right, everything is on my mantle this year, including this fun little pillow. Um, I picked that up at some estate sale, I'm sure, and put it there. I got that last year from eBay, and I absolutely adore it. It houses all of those cute little chenille pins. Um, it's a store display, so very, very cute. I have a couple of little um, bleak items over here. These are mine. Um, a little sugar and creamer some paper shamrocks that's cute and then this big glass um i don't even know what you would call it this came from my childhood home and it was there when my parents moved in so it could be close to 100 years old and i have my uh, extra collection of the little chenille guys in there so whenever i find them i grab them and hopefully i will eventually fill that up i picked up this guy at um well in illinois when I was with, or did I get it directly from Patrick? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, it had to do, or I got it during the Trusty Comfy meetup, I believe, um, in Illinois. I might have bought it from Patrick. I grabbed this at one point at some sort of a sale, and I love it because of all of the shamrocks. Of course, we've got the little Crayola stuff there, which looks really cute in the display. A couple little flower frogs, a hanky. A little uh, tin full of tiny things that I love. Um, I love these mechanical pins. And I've seen them now for just about every holiday. Except this is the only one I've ever seen for St. Patrick. So um, yeah, I was happy to get that. And I do believe that that along with the three heads here. Were a gift from um, Heather Elizabeth from Antique Agenda. I got those at Springfield this past year. Picked up this little guy. Um, this guy was an accidental find. He came with a whole bunch of other elves I bought, and I don't think they knew he was a leprechaun. Very cool. Adorable little guy. Um, some more littles here that I have. I have the, the, uh, St. Patrick's Day napkins there. I have some of the chenille, uh, shamrocks in packaging, which I love, so I'm gonna leave them in their packaging. I think they're very cool that way. This one fell down. There we go. Um, this I got from D at the Thrill of the Thrift. I bring it out every year. These are some really cute little guys here, so I'll put them in there. Those are a couple of wine corks. Then I have this little, um, I don't even know what that would be. Maybe a compote. You can see the brass base of it there. We have a whole bunch of little things in here. One of my teeny tiny striped um, elves. That little elf next to the striped elf, he is from my family's estate. Um, adore it. And those of you in the know, been watching me for a while, know that St. Patrick's Day is very near and dear to my heart because it was my mother's birthday. And so growing up, we had a lot of St. Patrick's Day stuff. We celebrated um, a lot because of that. So let's go on up to the top. I'll show you what's up there.
We'll start back there with those cute little uh, Anna Lee figurines. I got those from Katie at Vintage and Vital when I visited her last year in Florida. I was really glad to get those. Those are very cute. Um, that Nobbit, that wood thing there, is actually by an artist. Um, I'm not sure where the artist was from, but I bought it at, well, actually, that's not true. My family bought it, um, probably my parents at um, an art festival near my home that we I've been going to every year since I was 12 years old. Um, the little bike riding elf there, um, Leprechaun, that was given to me by Dee at the Thrill of the Thrift. I love this little thing right there. Oh my gosh, I don't know why I love it so much, but I do. It's in a little flower fog. Got a little greeting card there, a couple postcards back there in flower fogs. And these little guys I did get from Patrick also. Well, that one anyway. I got that one from Patrick. Um, Trusty Huckster Mercantile. You know me in little things. That's a little spun head guy. Love him. I'm not sure where I got these guys here. I don't remember. We've got our little girl there. Love those figurines. I've got the little guy on the boot. We've got him down there. And the little little mouse love him look at these guys up here I think these were more of the ones that I got from D at the thrill of the thrift oh my gosh she sent me a whole box one year and I can't tell you how excited I was to get them um, this guy one of the two I have I have similar displays on both sides and one of the two of those I bought from uh, Ariana at the Withering Cottage. And um, so, yeah, that's the rest of those. And then, again, I don't remember if it was this guy here um, or all. It could have been all of the guys with the little, with the little pipes that came from B. That's a magpie ethyl creation on a bingo card there. I was really happy to get that last year. We got some little ceramic elves there little girly candle oh my gosh adorable that's from d at the thrill of the thrift the little uh, orange haired figurine there along with her buddy back there and that's another little balik vase i only have a couple of balik items um, in my collection that's a song sheet i had that framed well i framed it i didn't have it framed some more wonderful little figurines i think some of them are left in and then down here, look at this little forest of goodness. <laughs> this is new for me this year, you guys. I took one of my little wooden uh, boxes and I put some floral foam in there. And those are all my cupcake picks. Those are all of my St. Patrick's Day cupcake picks. Now, some of them don't actually have the picked part on them. And so I've just tucked them in there. But I really thought that was a cute way um, to display them. And I was happy. I was I was happy with how it turned out. More little guys there. I think there's a third one in that series. One of these days, I would love to find it. These two little guys here. We got this guy. Another little guy there. He might he might be left in. Look at that die cut. Isn't that cool? Our little fiddle player. It's a nice tin. We've got another magpie Ethel creation there. Love it. One of my St. Patrick's Day angels. We've got one of my Christmas tree toppers there. Some mercury glass picks. This is the second um, thing that I have. I told you I had two of the same. This tin is actually an Irish coffee tin. I believe my parents brought it back from uh, Ireland when they were there. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's where it came from. Um, you see a little figurine in the front. That's a Pam, uh, Pamela Blanchard original there. This shillelagh. Came back from Ireland when I was there when I was four years old. Then that's the other guy, the one I wasn't quite sure whether um, it was that one or the other one that I got from Ariana. That little strand of stickers there. <laughs> My mom made that. Mercury glass baubles. Another little figurine. Those are my favorite to collect. Um, these little types of guys and the elves. A couple of bells. I bought those off of eBay. I think it was last year. Same thing with the guy. Um, it reminds me of Mary McTeague. I think that's what that reminds me of. <laughs> um, 
so cute. I put that little squirrel, which I got from Pam, Pamela Blanchard, next to this guy because I think that's a squirrel on his lap. I've got one of my angels back there. This is also another little piece that I absolutely adore. I think that's so cute. Love that postcard. We have some more of my angels here. Another postcard there. We've got the one on the left there reminds me very much of um, the 60s and 70s. The two red-haired um, girls there, um, the creamer and the sugar, I got those from Dia at the Thrill of the Thrift. And we've got the other little guys. I found the salt and pepper shaker that matches that set um, at a yard sale or an estate sale or something. And then added those things. That clover bottle there is very, very cool. And then I took some of my bigger picks and put them in that metal um, vase that I inherited from my family. And I have that Tom Collins bottle, which I love with the clover on it, that I got from my family's estate. Now, of course, I actually have a, a collection of these little benches. Um, so I bring the green one out for St. Patrick's Day. Let's give you an overall view of the mantle. What was your favorite thing? Did you find any new ways to display anything out of what I do? I always like to try to mix it up every year, but there are some things that I um, have done that I think are kind of tried and true when I bring it back year after year. Thanks so much for joining me. Hey, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to uh, subscribe. If you like this sort of thing, give the video a thumbs up and leave a comment. I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now.